love this township. Uh, just the people. The people out here are great. They treat us good. And, you know, it just it feels like home. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I mean, every day is different. It's so cool that where can you go to a job, and there's not a lot of people that can do this, go to a job and say, I love my job. I know that I, I can spend my entire career here. I, I'm proud to take care of the community, and uh, I enjoy the community. It's a police doggy. See, he's friendly. As you've heard by now, or already knew, Shelby Township has outstanding public safety thanks to our police and fire departments. Those departments are made up of incredible teams. As Bo Schembechler said, no man is more important than the team. But we should know the sacrifice of these individual men and women who put our safety above theirs on a daily basis. Those officers and firefighters are the MVPs making our residents safer and more secure. They do this through teamwork and in many cases, actual teams. The Shelby Township Fire Department has Macomb County's only swift water rescue unit, its only dive rescue unit, and one of the few ice rescue units, not to mention a hazmat team and a technical response and confined space response team. That was one of the reasons I really wanted to work for this community because we had the dive team, they have Macomb County Tech Rescue Team, they have the hazmat team, which is also with Macomb County, and I, I wanted to be involved. When I hired on, this department had only the dive team, and where we've gone from the last 27 years, it's, it's amazing what we've gone to. In addition to these specialized fields of rescue, our firefighters are also required to be paramedics, meaning we can operate our own paramedic services, so no township resident will ever be charged above their insurance coverage for a call for service. The one thing I love about Shelby is that we are very versatile and very dynamic. Are you injured at all? On a blue side of public safety, police departments have historically been reactive, only responding when somebody needs help or is doing something wrong. That is not the Shelby Township we know because our police officers are engaged members of the community. Being a local Eisenhower kid too, it, it kind of is. So I, I do have a, a personal connection to this, uh, to this town and, and I do feel it, that Shelby Township is, is my community. And I think we all have that, that this is my town, this is my, my responsibility, if you will. As part of their, this is my town mentality, there are specialized units to keep us safe. Of course, there's a patrol division, the traffic division, and the detective bureau. Stellan! Good boy! Yeah. But we've also brought back K-9 division. With Officer Joe Wojcik and Morpheus, and Officer Justin Goebel and Nico. Good boy! Continuing a focus on community, the Shelby Township Police Department has created a community resource team dedicated to forging strong relationships with our residents and businesses. Inside of our schools, we continue the D.A.R.E. program, which over the years has graduated thousands and thousands of children. And Shelby PD has started a stronger partnership with Utica Community Schools and now has a full-time school resource officer at both Utica and Eisenhower High Schools. One of my officers from Utica Eisenhower came up and showed me a letter he got from a 10th grader. You don't know who I am, but I want you to know that you make me feel safe and I want to thank you. It was a thank you card. I mean, that's to me, that's everything. You're making a kid feel safe just by your presence being in that school. I'm proud of it and I hopefully have a great partnership with the Utica Community Schools over the next several years. While we're looking ahead, Chief Shalide had the forethought to do the same, introducing a cadet program to the township so they can learn from the nation's best and brightest officers. It's a paid program for young adults to see if police work is right for them. More importantly, it allows command officers to see if they are right for police work. The fact that we're gonna be able to surgically 
uh, pick these people and have them in the door for three, six, nine months a year before we decide if we're going to buy them for the next 25 years is incredible. In the years to come, our, our department, you think we're doing, good, we're doing good now, we're going to rise like no one's ever seen before. Preacher up. What do you got? Got room right across. Already one down. Up you go. It is important to know though, if we're going to rise like nobody has ever seen before, we also have to be prepared for anything. Put it down! That's why Shelby Township now has a tactical response unit, a highly trained, highly skilled team that's ready for the worst. Got a long corner down, suspect down, down in the middle, right? Okay. Got, a friendly, got a friendly in this room. It's not something we like to think about, but the reality is we have to. These are scary times and we have to be prepared. I've said this from the day I walked in the door. You take a dart and you fling it at the map of the United States and don't be a very good map player and that's where you're going to have your next critical incident and there's no reason that can't be here. We're not going to be the department that you see us standing by while things are happening. We are going to be proactive and we are going to neutralize that threat, whatever, whatever it is. We can't always be safe. As much as I'd like to say we can handle everything with a wave and a smile, uh, that is not the reality of our world. We're up. Something new and unique to Shelby Township is a new team combining police and fire for critical incidents like this. Members of the Shelby Fire Department traveled with police officers for specialized tactical training so they can go into buildings even while there's still a threat so they can save more lives. You know, for the longest time it was PD entering the building and once the building was secure, uh, us being the medics would then come in. Well, now you're looking at a huge time gap, and by us training with the cops and get in on a tactical team, we can now enter in with the second round of officers and initiate care and treatment so much faster. So now you're able to save lives at a much higher percentage than you would normally uh, with old practice and old standards. No one here hesitated. And I know other departments that are facing the same thing. There's a lot of hesitation on the fire side because we're not police officers. I said, yeah, you're not. but. You know, the leading cause of death in these active shooters is these victims lying there for hours and they're bleeding out. One more, one more time. We may not be the only community with good police and fire relationships, but we're certainly one of a few that utilize those relationships collaboratively. I cannot tell you, cite you one time when there's ever been uh, an issue between uh, FD and PD here. I, matter of fact, they do we do charity, different charity events, charity games and things with those guys. So yeah, we have a very good working relationship with our police department. Truly, our firefighters are, they're our brothers and sisters. They are, they're our family. Um, it's no different because they wear a, a different uniform, a slightly cushier, softer uniform. Somebody's got to do it. Okay, show you clear. The backbone of our safety is a room inside the police department where dispatchers handle calls for help for both police and fire. They are the calm, controlled voice during what is sometimes chaos. They are the link to the help we need when we need it, and sometimes much more. Our dispatchers add great value to our department. You see the awards they get for the stuff they do, saving babies that are choking, uh, giving people instructions to give CPR to loved ones over the phone. In one particular case, a uh, lady was crying. She was so distraught after using a loved one. Uh, our dispatcher went over there after her house after she got off duty you know, and sat with her for hours just to try to console her. And if that doesn't tell you about our community, I don't know what does. Shelby Township is what it is, a better place to live, learn, play, and do business because of the people that make this community. But part of this community is also about being and feeling safe. And that's possible because the men and women in our police and fire departments don't just work in this community, they are part of this community. They are a part of this team. I take ownership of making sure that Shelby's safe. I know that everybody else in there does the same thing. I have never been in a, a community that is so much like family, and I've never been in a community that felt so much like home. Nobody ever wants to call police or fire. You don't want to, 
But you know what? One day, you just might need us, but we'll be there. We're out there for you. We will do whatever it takes to make sure that you and your family are safe.